Um, this is my vampy villainess look that I have done for you. Um, pe people who follow me on Instagram will have seen this look before because I wore it um, a couple of days ago, maybe even a week ago, um, certainly not that long ago. Um, and so I thought I'd recreate it but I wanted to do it with a bold lip this time um, and with lashes because I just think it'd be gorgeous nighttime look or um, for a party or just if you feel like being bold which I do so yeah if you'd like to um, see how I achieved this look the benefit stay don't stray primer um, also I've uh, done my waterline and my tight line um, just with normal black cold pencil um, so let's get started with this look this is a Avon Super Shock um, eyeshadow pencil and it's royal velvet and princess pink any purple base will do And you're just putting that on your lower lid, like there. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to smudge it. And under your lower lash as well. Like that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just rub with your fingers. So you want it on the bottom of your lid and just starting to go into your crease, which is where the purple is on the bottom there. Just keep going, you know, obviously this is just going to help the purple to stick. Right, then with, let me find the brush, fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with this tray from um, the 252 palette from Coastal Scents and I'm going to use this orange, it's like orangey yellow and this I'm going to put just above that purple, smudging out that edge and up really quite high to my brow bone, you see, and this is just my transition colour, and bring that to smudge out that purple. Underneath as well. As you can see, that it goes quite high um, on this side. So obviously, you wanna. It's just a base to start with because you, you're gonna add more colour anyway to that bit. Right now, with my trusty flat synthetic brush, I am going in with that fabulous purple there, which is Vice from the Vice palette. Just picking loads up on the brush. And patting that all over that purple base that we laid down first step. Don't worry about fallout, I'm gonna sort that out after get those big lumps. And just stamp that until you're happy with pay up and then rub that into where you put the base under your lower lash line like that. 
right and then go back in with the fluffy brush that you put that orange on with and just buff out that edge don't worry about it too much at this point because we're about to just lay down another colour picking up uh, another brush a fluffy kind of tapered crease brush and I'm going to go in with that bright pink there uh, which is noise from also from the Vice palette and that literally just place that there like that and blend and then bring it down and smudge Then again, you're going back in with the brush that you use for the orange, picking up a bit more, and you're blending out the edge of that pink and just building up that colour a little bit more. Like so. Then uh, what I will do now, because obviously, obviously you can see I've got lashes on, I'm just going to put the glue on now so it has time to dry um, because you don't want to put it on wet while the glue's too wet you have to leave it um, for it to go tacky so I'm just popping the glue um, these are just uh, lashes that I ordered um, off Amazon it was a big box by Bundle Monster um, if you search for them I'm sure you'll be able to find them right first of all I'm going to just use anonymous here um, I'm just going to pack that on there with my brow highlights right so now it is time for eyeliner angle brush and I'm just using my Barry M waterproof gel eyeliner I like this one this seems to be the only one that doesn't make my eyes react um, I love the blink one but that it just waters everywhere and this you're putting this on So you can cover the band of your lashes basically. You don't want to rush this bit, you want to just take your time. And it's pretty thick. But no wing, nothing too fancy. Just to the edge of your lash. Where you're going to stick your false lashes basically. Right then, I'm going to go in quickly with my Plump Up The Volume Mascara from Collection 2000. Just put a little bit on. top and bottom excuse me right now for lashes just want to make sure that it's quite tacky and I find wiggling them like that helps them get curved ready obviously because your eyes are curved I'll just give them a blow and then place them Without trying to get them stuck to your tweezers would be helpful. These want to stick to my tweezers rather than to my eyelid.
so that's that. You just stick them on. Go back in with your mascara. You can also curl them if you want. That also helps blend them together. But if you put your mascara on as well, it should be okay. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up under the eye now, like I have with this one. Um, and for that, I am going to use my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And that's in porcelain. I'm also, you can't really tell... I'm going to just do that like that and wing it out slightly and drag it down or like as a bit of a highlight because obviously this is more of a dramatic look you want. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and blend that out. This one really it take it needs a lot of blending. I like it, the coverage is good. But it does need quite a bit of working in. And you just keep going basically, and if you want to use um a sponge instead of the brush that's fine or a little concealer brush or just skip this bit obviously that is completely up to you and this works as this is not the most brilliant highlight for me but I've got stupidly pale skin so you can see and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just quickly set that just with my normal foundation powder. Right, and then I'm, what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to go back in with a fluffy brush and a bit of that orange just to kind of fade that line out. Slightly, so it's not quite as harsh. Can you see that line's still quite harsh? So I'll go in, and I actually think this side needs a tiny bit more pink. Blend that out there slightly. There you go, that's the eyes finished. Uh, right, I'm going to powder the rest of my face now. We'll finish the face and then we'll do the lips. So this is, I'm going for quite a dramatic look um, today, because that's what I'm trying to achieve. Obviously, you stick your cheek in. And this is just my Coastal Scents palette, and I'm going in that colour, the darkest. It's flat as well. I find it really good for contouring and just up into your temples and 
and you just keep going back and forth and adding bits until you're happy, basically. Then I'm going in with this pink, it's just a bit of a shimmery pink, um, I don't really want it for the colour as such, I just want a bit of a sparkle. Okay. I want more of the emphasis on the contour. I'm actually going to go in with this brush. I found this really good for doing the nose contour. Again this is quite a dramatic look. You don't have to make it as dramatic. You can do as much or as little as the, of the contour. You can um, or just, you know, just do the eyes, do a less defined. Contour. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that around my hairline. There you go. Right, now I'm gonna do the lips. Uh, I am doing quite a bold lip today because um, I'm going for more just generally all over more dramatic um, normally I would wear this eye with a nude lip um, but not today and I'm going in with this lip liner from number 17 from Boots and it's in the colour Claret and I'm just lining my lips first. Then I'm going to colour that in. There you go, that's the lip liner done. Where have I put my lipstick over here? Right. This is gorgeous, love it. It's called True Vintage, it's number 123 and it is from Rimmel. Um, I've had it for ages, I don't know if it's a current colour. Um, it's probably more of an autumn, winter type colour. But I wear it all year round.
and there you go that's the finished look um so if you like um please rate and subscribe um and feel free to comment below with um you've got any comments but please be nice um if you're gonna leave a comment thanks bye